one thing about it there's crunch and there's softness the definition it's fire it looks fantastic Welcome back to episode two of my Moose Only Wash and Go series. I will be using the Do Bee Girl. But first, I wanted to show you guys my shampooing and deep conditioning routine. So nothing really has changed. I just wanted to include it because it's nice. It's relaxing. It's, you know, it's great. And I don't really section my hair anymore. Well, I do sometimes, but I don't really section my hair anymore when I shampoo. I just feel like I just wanna shampoo it all at once and it's not so difficult for me to do anymore. As usual, feel free to go ahead and utilize the chapters and jump around. I just want to include this all just for the people who want to see it, but you can do what you like. Go to where you want and see the results or go along the journey and see how I styled my hair. Either way, I'm glad you're here. I am just spraying a lot of water on my hair, making sure it's nice and wet or at least damp, and then sectioning it into smaller sections. And I go in with my detangling brush beforehand. It's just easier to detangle that way. I've noticed with the Bee Girl mousse and the Dew Mousse Def that it's a little harder to use any kind of tool after the product is in my hair. I do end up doing that inevitably, but for me, it's just easier to detangle beforehand and then smooth the product in. I put like 10 pumps in this one section just because I was trying to be very much heavy handed when I was using the mousse step I did not use enough and I refused to make that mistake again so I'm being extremely heavy handed with this and trying to get as close to my roots as possible and I decided to shingle because I just feel like it's the most effective way for me to define my curls with mousse I don't know, something about it just makes me feel like if I don't separate my curls, they're just not going to separate. Mousse is very tricky for me. I'm new to handling it by itself, but I feel as though if I put a lot on one section and just rake it through with my hands, it's gonna turn out really odd and clumped together in a way that is not very appeasing to me. Let me know in the comments below how you guys style your hair with mousse in it. This is without any product on my hair yet.
okay. So that legit took me, I was taking my time and that took me an hour and a half. This is all the hair that came out of the brush I was, as I was detangling. I couldn't help but think like, this will go so much quicker if I had a leave-in in my hair. Because the detangling part took me the longest because I was trying to take my time. I don't want to mess up my ends or damage my ends because I'm just trying to use one product. I feel like even if this looks good with my kind of hair, I'm leaning towards like even just a spray-in leave-in detangler, something light, like the Feather Light Leave-In Detangling Spray by Weedod, or there's an Innersense detangler or heat protectant or something that somebody had mentioned to me, but those are the types of leave-ins that come to my mind right now when I'm thinking about a mousse. Not like a heavier leave-in cream, which could work, but all I'm thinking about is the fastest way to do this would be to like shampoo my hair and then go in with a mask that I could leave in my hair, like the K18 molecular hair mask. That would save me so much time. Like I think that would bring this whole process down to like an hour and a half of shampoo conditioning and styling. But using a deep conditioner that I have to rinse out, that takes more time. Not having a leave-in in my hair and then having to go really slow detangling, that takes time. So these are just things I'm noticing, but I used more product and I got to my roots this time. I'm gonna send it to the dryer and come back to you guys and let you see what it looks like before I stretch it out. Real quick, before I go, I used a little over half the bottle. That's a lot. This was, I think like 12 bucks, 11, 12 bucks. Yep. Okay, so I just got from under the dryer. I sat under the dryer for 30 minutes. Immediately, I can tell the difference between my last Mousse wash and go with the Dew Mousse Def and this one. I did use more product, so I did get a stronger hold. The definition towards my roots is a bit stronger. It's still not like super defined at the roots, but it's better. It's also crunchier, like it's really crunchy. I'm surprised by that, but I'm sure that crunch will go away when I stretch my hair. So it's a lot more stiff. That's immediately what I noticed. But this time when I stretch, I'm gonna use these to like section out so I can get an accurate stretch all around my head. And before I go in with my blow dryer, I am gonna spray my Weedad Mongongo oil spray on my hair. I'm gonna just squeeze it in. I'm leaving a few pieces in the front because I don't want it to look super stretched around my edges. So you can see this side and then this side. And this is still a look. This is still really cute without it being stretched. Sometimes I prefer it to look like this actually. And I'm not stretching the bangs. I need them to be just as they are. I don't pick my hair because I think that can cause some breakage, but I think I'm gonna flip it and zhuzh it and whatnot. So I want it to be a little bigger. Let 
me open up a window so it can be a little brighter in here. This is my day one hair and this is beautiful. It's so extremely soft. One of the major differences between the B-Girl and the Mousse Def is crunch. Now it could have been, I did not use as much of the Mousse Def as I did the B-Girl. Like, I can't see how much I used, but I know for a fact I can just feel there's a lot more in here than there is in here. So it could be that, or it could just be the honey in the B-Girl. One thing about it, there's crunch and there's softness and there's volume. My favorite thing about this wash and go outside of the way it looks, obviously, is the definition plus the softness of my hair. The volume, I gotta work on like how to get the look that I want with my hair because I'm still battling with that. I want like more volume and I don't know how to get it, so I'm still figuring it out. I think it is quite voluminous and I love the way it looks. Like, it's fire. It looks fantastic. Day one hair is gorgeous. I love it. It looks great. I will be back tonight to see how I end up trying to preserve this. This is what my hair looks like now. One thing I've noticed is that my hair already, like, especially at the center of my head, feels like it's frizzing up, kind of. Um, which is whatever, I guess. I ended up putting like a little clip on to push my bangs back just a little bit because they were hanging a little lower than I wanted them to. Yeah, it still feels really soft, but it doesn't feel as soft as the Mousse Def felt. It feels a little more crunchy and like dry. I don't know how to explain it outside of that. I'm just gonna put it up like I would put a pineapple up but with no band so I'm just gonna make my bonnet push my hair up I think this will be fine so day one hair I will see you guys on day two all right y'all it is day two and I have not taken off my bonnet yet so let me go ahead and take it off okay So this is a lot better <laughs> than putting it in them freaking scrunchies. A lot, a lot better. I still got that, that frizziness, that weirdness going on in that section back there, but everything else looks pretty good. Now, while this looks better than the Doom Moose Def on day two, it still isn't like, what I want, you know, it's really just, if you can see, the top of my hair was the first to go. I feel like I put quite a bit of product on this section, so I don't know. Mind you, I'm trying to follow the directions, so do not apply oil to the hair before applying the, the product. Apply a liberal amount to clean, damp hair. So it doesn't say anything about leave-in, and I know she mentions in some of her videos that I know for sure the Do Moose Def like has a leave-in in it or something and I don't know if the B-Girl has a leave-in in it but moving forward so it doesn't look bad it still has some definition like very good definition it's still like defined on the ends and whatnot but it's kind of it just looks kind of odd to me with the shape that I have it just got really bright because I opened up the window but just so you guys could see my hair better. The feeling, it feels dry. It doesn't feel like the product has leave-in in it. Moving forward, my mousse only wash and go series is gonna turn to a, just a mousse wash and go series. <laughs> and I'm gonna be using like some kind of leave-in. What I really want to use as my leave-in is my K18 molecular hair mask because this would just shorten down the whole process. I could hop in the shower, shampoo my hair in a matter of 10 to 15, 20 minutes, depending on how slow I'm going, throw in this leave-in hair mask, and let that sit in my hair for the four minutes or however long, and then I can just go in with my mousse and see how that helps. Now I know that even these like really strong hold mousses are gonna need something. They're gonna need something underneath in order to keep my hair from feeling dry, more manageable. Because again, my hair is fluffy. It does feel soft, but it also feels dry. 
I just think it looks really awkward with my shape. But maybe it's just me. Y'all let me know what you think. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, actually, I'm gonna try something before I go. So the pieces that I don't like the way they look, I'm just gonna add more mousse because why not? I'm gonna put some water on my hands so I don't get it all over the rest of my hair. And yeah, <laughs> this feels so dry, y'all. I can't, I can't, I can't. I have to use a leave-in. But it's good to try products as they are supposed to be used. Um, but I've seen a lot of people use different leave-ins with these products, so I'm sure it's fine. But I didn't want anybody coming for me anymore. I've tried the Mousse Def before, back in my weekly wash and goes, and people are like, you should have used it on its own. You should have used it as directed. That's why it didn't work for you. And the thing was, it did work for me in one video, or in a couple videos. It did work for me. It just didn't last very long, but now that's not an issue. <laughs> so that doesn't matter. Actually, instead of water, I'm gonna take my botanical spray. I'm gonna do that. See that? Automatically it feels so much better than water. So this is what I'm working with. That's what I'm working with. Take a few pumps. And so those just separated like that. It's really this back section that's kind of annoying the hell out of me. So I already think this looks better. We'll see, we'll see what happens. It still looks weird to me because if it's gonna be shaped like this, I need it to be more round. It looks like it's halfway round, like a, it looks like a pill. I don't know, Tylenol pill. But like, you know those Legos that you can like plop the Lego hair on them or something like that? That's what this looks like right now. I'm just gonna go run some errands and then I'm gonna come back later on today and I'll show y'all what my hair looks like. I got a couple compliments on my hair today and it looks really good, but I'm probably gonna have to reset it tomorrow. It's the end of day two and it's just not held very well, but it looks good. So I'm gonna zoom in and show you guys what it looks like. Good morning, it is day three, and I'm going to take off my bonnet and shake, shake, shake this out. It just fell right into place, which is surprising. <laughs> I didn't think this was gonna happen. I thought it was gonna be super stiff and not want to move, but it definitely fell right into place. One thing about it, this is a look. This is definitely a look. And it took me some time to get around to. <laughs> like, I really just haven't gotten used to, even though I love volume, I'm not used to volume with this shape. Like, as it's getting longer, I'm not used to the kind of volume that Moose is giving me with this shape of my hair. I just kind of want it to go into a heart right now. <laughs> Cause it's giving pill, like, and that's kind of not what I want. Conclusion, this is great. This so far is my favorite over the regular, the Dew Mousse Def Foam. I prefer the B-Girl. I get better crunch. I get a little bit better hold. But I can't really say that yet because I didn't use the Dew Mousse Def in the way that I used the B-Girl. I used a lot more of the B-Girl than the Mousse Def. So to be fair, I'm gonna have to revisit this after I've gone through some others with a lot more product and we'll see. But y'all, I didn't think I'd be able to wear day three hair. I woke up thinking, okay, I'm gonna have to reset my hair today instead of on day four. It really just works better if I can get three full days of good hair. And day three, day four, day five hair is ideal. So the mousse, we're doing well. And my hair feels 
like it feels dry but it feels so soft and not dry like oh my god my hair feels so dry and brittle it just feels dry it doesn't feel like how it would feel with a moisturizing agent on it but my hair doesn't feel like it's going to break the hell off you know because I was concerned about that with the mousse def it did feel like that <laughs> And it could be because I didn't use enough product again. So like learning, learning and growing, trying to go by the directions on the product and neither of them say to add a leave-in. So I haven't sprayed any more of these two today and I didn't use any more oil yesterday either when I was refreshing some of the top pieces of my hair. So one, yes, use more product, that has worked. Two, add more product specifically to the roots, that has worked. Three. Find a better way to maintain my hair at night. The bonnet in the opposite direction, that has worked wonderfully. And four, resetting my hair more often. With this one specifically, I'm not gonna need to reset today. I'm going to get to reset on day four, which is fantastic. I thought I was okay with doing it like every other day type of deal. Not really. <laughs> no, I'd at least like three full days. Three full days of great hair. And then the next day, I can hop in the shower and reset my hair. You guys let me know what you think. Should I go ahead and add in the K18 Molecular Hair Mask as I'm trying this mousse only wash and go? Or should I just go ahead and you know continue to deep condition my hair and try it with the mousse by itself? I have a feeling of what I'm leaning towards, but I'm curious what you guys think. And at the end of the day, I gotta do what's best for my hair. I'm still like super curious about what you guys think. So let me know and I will see you in the next one. But if you have not watched the Do Moose Def one already, go ahead and take a look. Let me know what you think of that and go ahead and deep dive into my wash and go playlist.